Hi, I'm Florent. I'm a local actor and writer from Chippenham with a big, big love for the town. It's got a proper special place in my heart. I grew up there on Hill Rise, which is a council estate on the edge of town, for people that don't know the area that well. And life was pretty chaotic growing up in like the best and worst ways. It was definitely a ride. I was a really uh, like energetic and lively, quite naughty teenager. And I struggled in mainstream school, not academically, but I struggled to like uh, pay attention, to concentrate, uh, to kind of toe the line. Um, by year 10, I was excluded from all of my lessons except for drama. So my drama teacher was the only teacher that said I could carry on coming to her classes. She supported me and stood by me at a big crisis point in my life. Um, I didn't know it at the time, but her believing in me, encouraging me and like not giving up on me when others had like, literally changed my life and set me on a very different path and is a big part of why I'm an artist today. I was supported um, by her and another amazing teacher um, who um, was the head of the annex, which was like um, the isolation part of the school uh, where kids were sent for like misbehaving. So they both uh, supported me through that time and encouraged me to apply for college. And I went to Trowbridge College to study performing arts, um, which was another hugely transformative, really positive experience in my life. From there, kind of against the odds, I went on to train as an actor at uni and um, later drama school. But I always like wrote alongside acting as well, um, like rhymes, lyrics, spoken word, stand up comedy. Um, and then in more recent years, I started writing for theatre and um, a bit for telly. Now, those earlier forms are still very present in my writing uh, today. So like rhythm, poetry and humour like play a big part, as does Wiltshire. I'm really passionate about putting Wiltshire on the map and telling the stories of uh, like the places and people there that I know to be true. I think people often have misconceptions about the county that it's full of uh, wealth, affluence and rolling hills. Uh, there is that side to it, of course, but that's not really the side that I know. Uh, growing up on Hill Rise, life was tough a lot of the time, but it was also uh, funny and exciting and wild. And I think we rarely hear those stories on stage and screen. I hope that my work can address that, um, that imbalance and help working class communities from towns and villages across the county, the region and beyond feel heard and represented. Now, Destiny is the first play I wrote. It's inspired by my experiences growing up in Chippenham about being a teenage girl, about all the messiness, the mayhem, the magic that often goes with that. It's my love letter to the town, in a way. I wrote it for my sisters, cousins, mates, nieces, for all the destinies out there, like young and old, in the hope that they'll feel seen, heard, and inspired to share their own stories so that they can process the highs and lows of their own lives and so that they can heal and grow in a healthy way. It's a really personal story that's very close to my heart. And it's challenging for sure. It's challenging to perform and it challenges the audiences watching it and society as a whole in a way that's necessary, I think, and urgent. My drive of the project and dream is that it will help vulnerable young people in some way get the support they need and deserve. I hope it builds empathy and breaks down judgments. And ultimately, I hope that as a society, we'll stop neglecting and abusing kids, something that weirdly feels like a big ask, but definitely shouldn't be. I hope that it can challenge um, the epidemic of violence against girls and women that exists in our culture. Uh, we toured the show last year, mostly around the southwest, and we took it to London, and the response has been really lush, uh, sometimes a little overwhelming, but it's highlighted that people want and need to hear these stories. 
Oh, a lot of young people came, um, which is like a demographic that people say don't like engage in theatre that much. Um, but they came and they really connected with the show and were inspired by it. Now, I think if one or two of them go on to write their own show to tell their own stories, then I think it's doing its job. If you see yourself represented in the arts, then you believe you can be an artist. And art should be reflective of the whole of society, not just a privileged minority for whom it's accessible and affordable. I work a lot with young people to support and encourage them to share their own stories and express themselves creatively. Um, a lot in the southwest, sometimes further afield. Um, I'm working like in Shropshire and Herefordshire at the moment, um, and it's often in communities that have limited cultural infrastructures in place in both rural and urban places. Now, bringing the show to Chippenham to its birthplace. Uh, it definitely feels like the homecoming and the definition of coming full circle for me. It makes me uh, reflect on my journey so far, what it's taken to get to this place. It has been wild, not going to lie, and proper hard work. I've hustled, like that's for sure, but it's all been worth it. And I'm glad that I stuck with it and continued like chasing my passion and dream and I would really encourage others to do the same to fight for what you're passionate about now that isn't easy it involves a lot of fear and vulnerability but it's also hugely satisfying and empowering and everyone should feel empowered in life uh, not just the elite definitely not I'm so, so grateful to Chippenham Fringe and Chippenham Barrowland for this opportunity and think the work they're doing to give local artists a platform and the local community access to such an exciting, diverse programme of events is hugely inspiring. Um, pulling something together like this takes a lot of hard work, determination and care. So I take my hat off to like all of them, to the whole team involved. Uh, so the Destiny show is this weekend, it's on Sunday evening, um, I'm mad, like excited, nervous, proud, there's lots of emotions going on um, around it I guess. Um, I hope I've done the community of Chippenham proud and that they'll feel valued and a sense of pride for their hometown when they watch the show. There's still a few tickets left I think. Um, so yeah, uh, they're from like two pounds, um, so really cheap. Uh, so if you're free, come down. We'd love to see you and uh, see you after the show. Uh, that'd be amazing. Um, all right, big love. Uh, have a good week. Peace.